Yeah, dudes, this is Charles O, the Pwn Master. <laughs> yeah, and I'm here to introduce you to a guy. Uh, this is like a part two or something. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Right now, this is like part two of a commentary made by some some Sonic fan called Guptill89. <laughs> yeah. So, I just have a question for you all. Are you ready for a commentary that's so epic it makes you feel like you just baked a bunch of crystal meth up your ass, shat it out, then snort it? Well, that's what I feel right now, dudes. So let me introduce you to a guy who's kind of like a fagula, but he really isn't. His name is Loud Styles, and he's just fucking epic, man. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, welcome everyone to part two of my Guptil89 commentary, Attack of the Most Subscribe Hater Rise, Rise, Rise. For those of you who haven't seen part one yet, go watch it. For the ones who've already seen part one, enjoy part two. Hello, I'm Loud and Styles. I do these videos, so you watch them. Enjoy. Well, here we are. We've saved the best for last. Those who are unfamiliar with this might be in for a shock. The last user who's been getting a lot of hate from others happens to be the number one most subscribed user of all time. Hate Fred! Watch how I do this! Fred Figglehorn is a character created by a young man named Lucas Cruikshank. Fred is a six-year-old who has behavior issues, and because of this, he deals with personal problems with everyday life, mostly from off-screen characters like Kevin and Judy. The haters of this character think Lucas is not funny and not entertaining at all. He isn't. Simple as that. They reckon he's... Plain annoying. You are correct, sir! Fred is annoying. He's not entertaining, and he's damn sure not funny. When I look at a Fred video, the one thing that goes into my mind is, what mental asylum did he escape from, and how the fuck did they not see him leave? A few have complained that he only does this in every one of his performances. Well, one, you got that whole fucking thing wrong. Um, the edits are kind of right. But, it kind of matches with the sped up parts of his voice. So, you kind of did it a little wrong. But yes, that's exactly what Fred does in all of his fucking videos. That is not Fred! <sighs> I'll show you what Lucas really does. Hey, it's Fred! I'm really excited because guess what? It's covered with snow outside! I love the winter season because it's so nostalgic. Two years ago, this was the exact same day I had ever laid my eyes on Judy. She was so beautiful. In fact, I'm gonna play outside right now because I get the feeling she is out there! Time to get my winter stuff on! Watch how I do this! Watch how I do this! Watch how I do this! I bet you're wondering why this hat says Dylan on it. The reason is Dylan is Kevin's little brother. I asked him if I could borrow his hat because I lost mine last year and of course he said yes! Thank goodness he's so much better than his older brother. Okay, well I'm ready to head on out, so let's go! Woohoo! This is so hacking cool! Okay, two things. Wrong, 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 wrong! Wrong, 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 wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! And... Okay.
okay, the reason why I said it was wrong was because of the following things. One, his videos are very fast paced. He doesn't keep up at a slow pace like that. He kind of comes off like a hyperactive chipmunk that had like 20 something fucking mochaccinos and couldn't stop fucking talking. That is a Fred video. What you're doing is basically trying to make Fred not look as much as a hyperactive annoying little bastard he really is. Though some parts of your edits are kind of right, the other parts are just... No. I just checked the hill and unfortunately Judy is not here. But that's not gonna stop me from doing whatever I want to do. The action I'm gonna perform today is rolling down. <laughs> I must say, I find Lucas Cruikshank's work entertaining. And it certainly is not a still camera in a room where he frantically walks around talking at high speed. Many people think that the chipmunk-like voice is annoying. Perhaps so, but it's been heard tons of times before with cartoon characters called Alvin and the Chipmunks! One, it's your opinion if you like Fred or not. I really don't care. But two, two, he does walk around frantically at high, at high pace, and he does talk in high speed because he edited his voice to talk in high speed! And most of the time, it's not a still camera. He basically has the camera all over the fucking place. But still, his voice is at high speed. He does walk around frantically. And because of how old Mr. Cruikshank is, he increases the speed of his videos to sound young. There's something else you should know. The style of acting Lucas plays out is similar to the internet show, Ask a Ninja. Remember when I talked about TV shows like the ones hosted by David Letterman and Craig Ferguson? Well, both The Ninja and Fred are sort of the same. They're also different in many ways. Take a look at Ask a Ninja, and you'll see what I mean. I happen to watch Ask a Ninja, and I actually have seen a Fred video, and I see no similarities between Ask a Ninja and Fred. If you're talking about editing style, even still, I don't think Ask a Ninja is frantically all over the place like Fred is. Yes, he takes shots where he's like on this side, and then he'll probably take a shot where he's like up close. But his voice ain't like, his voice ain't all like this, like, hi, it's Fred! It's not all up high like that. His voice is still like this. You know, his voice is in that ninja moto lingo, whatever the hell it is. That's how his voice sounds. So, again, um, I see no similarities. With the descriptions of all four people mentioned, here comes my favorite part. Some users have mentioned other people who they think are better then the irate gamer, Maggie Bon, Chris Crocker, and Fred combined. I'll name four people and tell you what I think of them. Number one is Make Me Bad 35. Okay, fine with me. I kind of like Damien. However, you ought to know that most of his videos are intended for mature audiences. Number two will be 4Fun808. I suppose Aaron's alright too. So far, the only things I like about him are the card trick and basketball videos. Everything else he's done makes his performance seem to plummet downhill. I've seen some very strange titles before in my life, but the one you've created is one of the worst. I mean, seriously, the 12 FUs? Where did that come from? Okay, beside the fact that that was the worst Simon Caldwell impersonation I ever heard in my life, that is so completely unrealistic. I highly doubt Simon Caldwell would give two shits about the 12 FUs. Number T-H-R-E-E, -E, Louise Prower. <laughs> that guy never does it for me. All he's ever done is post raw footage of usual video game play, his house, and himself without a script. Every time I check out one of his videos, I enter a state of drowsiness. 
I'm totally clueless as to why so many viewers like this fellow. What's so awesome about him? What makes you think he's worthy to watch? I don't know, so somebody tell me. I'm completely stumped. To me, the only cool thing about him is that he's probably in the top 10 of users that made the most videos. Last but not least is numero 4. None other than Marcus Sparaccio, also known as Nicotine Alien and Rmake21. Are you joking? You're saying that a man who records electronic games and litters the presentation with the F-words and other curses is superior? Yep, because a lot of people find his work entertaining. And I actually do like some of Rmake21 stuff. I haven't seen him in quite a while, so... But, but seriously, I do find some of our Make 21 stuff pretty cool. And yes, he throws out the F-bomb every now and again. Who cares? If you've checked out a video where I express my opinions about reviewers on games, you know what I think about this. Chris Bors in particular may swear a lot, but at least his presentations are well-crafted. AVGN. <clears throat> This issue of YouTube users fussing about other users they describe as overrated is like saying gangsta rap is superior to rock and roll. Most of these things are a matter of taste, but there are some things that are clearly superior to others. Thanks for watching and listening. See you around. Au revoir. Okay, I'm gonna cut that part out because I damn sure do not need to hear that fucking song again. That was Dylan Guptill or Guptill 89's Attack of the Most Subscribe Hater Varoids videos in two parts. This is a first for me because this is the first time I ever did a commentary with two parts. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a comment under the video if you liked it or not. This is Lounge Styles, and I say good day. I said good day!